This is Mark. Hey, Mark. This is Billy at Talk Sport in London. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Cheers, as always. Um, well, sorry, thanks for coming on. Um, yeah. Again, much appreciated. No worries. I just thought I'd give you a quick call to check the line. It sounds perfect, actually, considering you're in the States. We don't usually get a line this good, so, no, it sounds perfect. Cool. Um, c what I will do is I'll give you another num ring on this number, from this number as well, in about seven minutes, if that's okay. I will be ready. Fantastic. And just to let you know, our um, presenters are Andy and Jason. Main Andy one and is Jason. Andy and he, Got it. He's alongside Jason. And it will just be a chat about the documentary and what you believe and that sort of thing. Sure. Perfect. Speak to you in about seven minutes. Right. Thanks again, so, Mark. Sounds good. Thanks. Cheers, mate. All right. Bye-bye. This is Mark. Hey, Mark. It's Billy again. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. And thanks again for coming on. What I, How this will work is I will just put you on hold... Um, we're just in an ad break at the minute, so you'll hear a few commercial break. Uh, yeah, a few commercials. Okay. Um, and then you will hear us come out of the break, and then we'll introduce you. And it shouldn't take too much of your time, just five, six minutes, something like that. Cool. Um, Andy's actually seen the documentary on Netflix, so he's um, he's very interested in it. In nice. It. Nice. Um, so that'd cool. be great. Cool. Right. Right. We'll be with you in about two minutes, I believe. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable! What what happened? on earth went on there, What's Josh? What's happened? Honestly, it's what happened? It, it fell over. No, it your fall no, no, over. No, no, genuinely, it fell it's over. It's a brand new system. I know it's a brand new system. It fell over. What does that even mean? Well, it means I pressed the play button and nothing happened. It fell over, mate. It took a dive. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone it down. It's gone down too easy. Uh, now it's time to talk about the uh, the Earth, Jay, not the round one, the flat one. I just want to give a special thanks to Billy, who works on the show, who's done a queue for a queue. He's basically a sheet of information that Billy would give us about our guest. He's written four lines on this. <coughs> line one and line four are identical. It's the worst cue I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, so let's speak to the man and find out more. Let's say hello to Mark Sargent uh, from um, the Netflix documentary Beyond the Curve. Of course, uh, Mark will, and I'm guessing still does believe, the Earth is flat and he can tell us more about it. Mark, hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> We're good, very well. Thanks so much for coming on. So the first question I'm guessing would be, you believe still to this day that the Earth is flat, is that right? 100%, absolutely flat, yes. Okay, let me ask you, in your documentary on Netflix, which I enjoyed, right. does it not end with someone on your team proving the Earth is round? Uh, no, no, it absolutely does not, the Jaren laser experiment, no. That is the power of editing. The director, by the time he got to the end, hated Flat Earth. He thought we were just this harmless little band, and by the time he was done shooting... He just loathed us, and that's okay. when he decided he could he could do what he could wanted in editing. So no, right. no, he he left okay. out my, so my, many experiments; it was mind boggling. Okay, but let me ask you because I, I've got an open mind, right? And and I enjoy this subject; I really do. Right. But here's my question for you, okay? Right. Let's just say that the Earth was flat right. and not round. Right. What would be the point of not telling us? Why well, would they keep it secret and lie to us? Because it's so big. It, it's such a big secret. It's not like any other conspiracy, and I'm not going to rattle them off here, but it's so big that it could disrupt civilization as we know it. And by that, I mean um, academically, economically, and definitely religiously. I mean, academically, you'd have to rewrite a whole bunch of textbooks. And I know we have a lot of time, so I'll, I'll make it quick. Uh, economically, you'd have to suspend world trading for, I don't know, months to figure out what it means. And then religiously, you know, you're you're basically giving the five major religions of this world, uh, uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, um, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, uh, leverage against science. And you combine those three things, uh, it's a little dicey. I don't know if I would do it if I, if I okay, knew for sure. Okay, so, so why has this lie been going on for so long then? They, you know, let's say you're right. They're valid arguments about what you've just said. Right. But 100, 150, 200 years ago, whenever we found out that, the Earth, we categorically could uh, say that it is round. Why right. was that lie kept up? Uh, well, no, no. Even back then, I don't think here. No, no. It's it's better than that. No. So you have to go back like 500 years ago is when the whole Copernican model, you know, went into play, and it's like, okay, you know, we're we're here, the sun's here, and the solar system, and everything else. But what happened was is they didn't even know for sure like, until a technology reaches a certain level you don't even know for sure what shape of the world is remember until you go high enough to actually see it and so the united states and the soviet union according to my theory uh figured it out in about 1960 so even our best and brightest people didn't even know for sure until 1960 and then when they did it's like yeah let's keep this thing under wraps for as long as possible and as of about three mark, mark yeah go let, let me ask you a quick question because we're we haven't got that much time, know, and, and know, Jay and I are both desperate to ask you a question. Why has no one gone to the wall? 
Because it's too far out. Meaning, uh, there's it's a common misconception that the Antarctic coastline, that the wall is like right beyond it, like the Game of Thrones, right? Mm. No, 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 no. I mean, the Admiral Byrd, the uh, the United States uh, youngest a admiral in the United States Navy, he flew in Antarctica, basically searching for this thing for the better part of 30 years with a huge military force, and only at about 1956, 1957 is when he figured it out. So it's got to, the outer outer marker has got to be several thousand miles from the Antarctic coastline. It's way bigger than we thought just, it was. Just, just, just quickly, can I just say yes or no answer to this? Yeah. yeah. Is every other planet in the solar system, including the sun, and I'm going to put the moon in there, a veil flat? No, no, but they're just lights in the sky. We're the only one. Uh, no, no. Yeah, well, that's just it. We're, we're not – everything – we are flat, but the, every, everything else is just lights in the sky. So the sun, the stars, are they, are they, the stars is, and the planets – Are they round? Are just, is the sorry. moon round? Um, is, is the moon, moon round? round? It might – well, I mean, it looks round. It might be spherical, but then again, it looks, it, it looks spherical in a planetarium no. too. But you can't land on it in a planetarium. The sun? Sorry, the sun ahead. flat. Is the, sun flat? is the sun flat? Uh, don't know. Might be two dimensional. Might be three dimensional. Don't know. Okay, Mark. Listen, Cheers, Mark. Uh, we could go on and on. We'll get you on next time, <laughs> okay. and we'll talk longer. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Love, love to be on. Thanks for okay. having me, by the way. All right. Cheers, Our man. pleasure. Thanks, pal. Thanks for coming on. There you go, Mark Sargent. Right. Um, talking about the Earth. Fine. Mark, thanks so much for coming on. Sorry, we're a bit pushed for time tonight. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. no worries at all. Thanks for having me. But Oh, our pleasure. We'll look to get you on for longer um, soon. Okay, bye-bye. Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye.